If you've already made the great decision to go low carb, keto, or carnivore, there are no reasons you should be suffering at all, especially in social conditions. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a quick public service announcement for those uh, dabbling with or uh, fully uh, entrenched in the low carb, keto, carnivore lifestyle. One thing I read all the time in uh, interviews with people who are uh, either trying or experiencing or, or doing a low carb keto or carnivore is the one thing they run into problem wise is social uh, situations where they go out to eat with their friends or what have you or what people think of them. Number one, first and foremost, never give a crap what people think of you. It doesn't matter. What matters most is what, what works for you and that's that. Number two, and we've mentioned this in the past on our blog, I can't remember which story, just go find it. Um, it's eating out at restaurants. Uh, it's like a ritual, a, a, a social ritual, a human ritual. Um, we've all done it, I've done it many times in the past where you go out to eat with your friends and so on. And that's like what your one way of, or one of the few ways you socialize. You get together at a table, you chit chat, you eat and blah, blah, blah. You <laughs> take pictures of your food and put them up on Instagram, whatever. Um, the, we really think that restaurants should be avoided. Even it, it's hard to eat low carb and keto and carnivore at a restaurant, even though some try to accommodate. You know, they have a, you know, there's some good barbecue places, but hey, P.S. They have uh, sugar in their sauces. Um, <clears throat> eating out doesn't need to be a major human thing. Uh, it, it's it's recent. It wasn't. It wasn't that way with the cavemen. They didn't eat out. They killed an animal, and yeah, they sat around and, and you know pigged out on it. But restaurants for us, for instance, we don't we don't eat out. I mean, every now and then there's an emergency. You gotta stop somewhere and get something because uh, you got a screaming carload full of maniacs. Um, but eating out is number one expensive. Number two, you, like they usually have low income people cooking, and even if you go to a five star restaurant. I don't know. If you don't cook for yourself, you really can't be in control of what you're putting in your mouth. And I, I think that the, there should be no social uh, worries about what people think of you or, or the difficulty of eating or, or this pressure. You see everybody picking out on french fries, pizza, whatever it may be, uh, high carb items. Um, and you're sitting there, you're, you're, you're eating just a piece of meat or what have you. Yeah, it's, it, you're a little bit of an outcast. That's why you don't have to eat out. Just don't eat at home. Eat once a day and, and find other ways to socialize with your friends or acquaintances. It's that simple. Don't worry about it. Just stop eating out and uh, stop giving a crap about what other people think. And when they, they see you the next time and you're looking great and feeling great, you don't have brittle nails, bad skin, uh, bags under your eyes from like, being able, un unable to sleep, just, just don't worry about it. Kick that part of your life to the curb. And that's it. Have a nice week ahead.